Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell XPS laptop. This one is an XPS M1530 model and the internal model for this one is an Dell PP28L and that can be found right on the bottom of the sticker. It says model number is a PP28L. All right. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive from some mechanical hard drive that it comes in the factory from here to a solid state drive. The solid state drives are much, much faster than mechanical drive and it will be a huge improvement for this old laptop. So if your old laptop is running really slow, you can just upgrade the hard drive first and then you can upgrade the RAM. And I made a video how to upgrade the RAM on this one. All right. So to upgrade the hard drive, first you need the hard drive. I'll leave the link for some of the cheap hard drives, SSDs, and some of the good brands as um, Samsung brands. And the tools that you're gonna need for this work are a screwdriver set. Uh, I use the iFixit tool set, and I recommend it to everybody, as they have one of the best um, bits out there. These are S2 classic steel, and they are really durable, and they will last you a long time. So we're gonna use an Phillips number one from this tool set. Make sure the power is off to the laptop. You do not need to remove the battery, but if you wanna be paranoid and remove it, just pull the trigger all the way back and then slide the battery out. But you do not need to remove the battery. All right. The hard drive is in this corner and these are this little cylinder uh, logos right by the screws. These are the, uh, it's logos for these four screws. So you want to remove these four screws. They are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching these four screws. Once you remove the screw, just simply grab it from here and pull the old hard drive out. The old hard drive has a higher profile, but the SSD is a much slimmer version. So to remove it, you need to remove the caddy, the face plate here. There's one screw there and one screw on the other side. Remove these two screws. Remember the position of the hard drive, the SATA and the power cable connector is right here. So you don't want to put it the other way around. Otherwise the contact is not going to go through. So remove these two screws on side, on every side. And then you want to grab the hard drive, put it to one side, grab the new one. All right, this is something very important. Uh, this one is a low profile, so if you stick this one right through the uh, place right here, there's no rail, there's no rail for it to go through. It can go down, it can go up. So you see it went into it right there, and you think, oh, you know what, it's done, it's ready. But you're wrong. The hard drive is not placed inside the connectors. It's because it went under the jack, it went under. So uh, let's say if the jack is right in here, the hard drive is under the jack, it's not sitting on top because it's actually fall down even under jack. So what you need to do is to pull it out, make sure you lift the hard drive and swipe it against the top part. So I'm going in an angle, so I'm going like this. So I don't go like this, otherwise you're gonna go under the jack. Pretty much let me put in another example. Let's say the, you know, how can I put it to you? Let's call it, the connectors are, this one over here. So the connectors is right over here. This hard drive has to come through and has to go right through here, okay? But because of this is a low profile, so what happens when you put it down, it's gonna go underneath and it's gonna sit right under the connector and it's not gonna go through. In order to go through it, so you have to lift it up a little bit and bring it all the way on the top so it can actually go through. So that's what I'm trying to say. People are like, oh no, it doesn't detect my hard drive because you didn't install it nicely. So I'm gonna bring it down this way, facing the bottom, rubbing against the bottom cover. So it's gonna rub against the bottom cover, cover all the way in, all the way in, and you should feel the last part just squeezing in right there. And to verify that the hard drive is in place is really simple. If the screw that you have in here, if the screw catches the hard drive, that means you install it nicely, you see? They screw how it catches up, that means the hard drive is in place. But if your hard drive is not in place, if it goes under the jack, uh, I can even see the hole is all the way down there. 
So no matter how much turn I do here, it's just not going to reach the hard drive. So that's another point, the way that you know. So I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to pinch it like this, bring it up, push it down, and I can see the screw holes right there. And the last thing would be to just put the screws right in there. Also, if you guys want to support the channel and if you like my videos, click that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, and now that you have the hard drive in there, when you turn on the laptop, you're not going to have any operating system installed in anything in there. And I made a video how to create a USB boot drive from Windows, and I made another video how to install it on a Dell laptop. Both of the links are in my video description. You can follow them how to create your boot drive, and another video how to install them. I'm just going to go over it quickly. Once you have your boot drive, you're going to place it in there. You're going to power it on. And you're going to start tapping on F12 just like this until you see a boot menu. And through the boot menu, you're going to choose your USB drive and you're going to follow the step by step how to install it on a Windows 10. And I put on little tricks how to install the Windows proper way. Watch my other video and you have your Windows within 10 to 15 minutes. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. And if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.